All right, guys, here we go. I have the Off Road Gorilla Axle Beeper mod. There's a filter. Oh, I decided to get this one. I know it's a little more bougie, but I'll try it out. Came with the hose. Here's it size sticker. Not a huge fan of stickers, but I'll probably throw it on the cooler here. And then here's the actual valve. Got your good old 10 millimeter here. Just want to take out the tail lights. And you're going to see there's a little pocket down here. It's going to slide the hose right through there. I'm on the bottom of the car right now and check it out. Alright guys, we're now in the rear passenger side. And here's the... Right there. There's a 14 millimeter, so just go at it. Take it off. One thing to consider is I am going to do a body lift, just two inches in the back here next week. So when you're rolling the line up, make sure you have enough length just in case you, you know, increase it or whatever. Shouldn't be that big of a difference, but always good to have some extra wiggle room. Alright, got it loose. Like I said guys, this thing has barely any miles on it, so it's not in bad shape, but we're just going to go ahead and replace it. Here's the new piece. I see some people use Loctite on this, but uh, I don't think it's necessary. Alright guys, so, well there's a little pocket to the tail light. I'll look through here. So I'll follow the cable. I'll go tr try to go above the frame here. Go across. Go on the end up. Somewhere right here. Figure out where you want it. Time up this clamp right here. I went ahead and follow that brake line up. <sighs> kind of right here, follow it up, right above it. I'm going to zip tie it to this bracket here. Not to this, not to this, but the actual bracket so it's not in the way. I crossed it over the frame. <sighs> so it can go above. So I didn't want it too close to the exhaust. I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem, but whatever follow it through here 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 and then going to zip tie it somewhere over here and there's more cables running this way just zip tie it to that and probably zip tie one more to the frame or all right guys here's the finished product i cut off maybe like that much i cut off and from that cut off i just cut a little bit on top of this so i put a bit more holes on here just put a cloth over it, just so nothing, no debris can get in. And put it as high as I can. I don't plan on doing that many crazy water crossings, but that'll be fine. So I just fold it straight down. And then... Where are we? Where are we? So we came up from up there. I just followed the tail light harness put it across the frame to like right here is like a little hole on the frontier at least it's a little hole right here that I zip tied to I'm sure it's not like the most secure thing but I don't want it to be super tight it's not under is it is not under any uh moving parts so it should be good and then I did remember I did tie it I did zip tie to the bracket here for the oil line. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I did leave it a little loose because, like I said, I'm going to put a small two inch lift on it. So I want some space in there just in case I need it. I'm not sure if I do, but if I do, it's there. Here, you guys, uh, the old axle breather. Sorry for that one more. It was still in pretty good shape. Um, what some people do, they take this off. And then move it up here, which to me is pretty pointless because this is uh, these get stuck a lot. So, why move it higher? It makes no sense. Just buy a better filter, and I'll be good.